Thank you for joining us. Welcome to Lumio Station. What's up, Lumio Station, and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Data Decks with me, the one integral. Last week we covered the water ghost type Jellicent from generation 5 and I asked you guys which ice type, either Mamoswine or Auroras you guys wanted to see this week and Auroras came out on top so yes we're looking at the new Pokemon that some people might not have used before. Before we get onto it though we need to choose the Pokemon for next week's episode and of course we're going legendary once more. This week or next week rather we have the dog trio Raikou, Raikou, Ra I never know which way to say it, Raikou, Raikou, uh, Raikou I usually say I think, Raikou, Entei or Suicune, which one do you want to see next week guys, if you want to see Raikou, comment down Raikou, if you want to see Entei, comment Entei in the comment section down below, and if you want to see Suicune, well, it's, it's fairly obvious, so just throw that down in the comment section below guys, and the one that gets most votes will be covered in the next episode of the Pokemon Data Decks. but for now, we need to get on and start looking at Aurorus. So Aurorus, it is a rock ice type, so it's primarily rock for some reason, oh well, it's because it's a fossil, it makes sense. It's a rock ice type number 699 in the National Pokedex, and it is the Tundra Pokemon. It stands at 8 foot 10 inches tall, or 2.7 meters tall, which is pretty darn tall, and weighs 496 pounds, or 225 kilograms, also pretty heavy. Egg breeding wise, it's in the monster egg group because as we can tell by its height, it's a pretty big monster. And then the female, well, sort of, you know, the male female split is 87.5% male, 12.5% female, as is the same with all fossil Pokemon, just it's just a hint as to why they went extinct really. Most mostly, I don't know. So evolution wise, as I mentioned, it's a fossil Pokemon, so it comes from the sale fossil and you get an Amora from that. And then when Amora is leveled up uh, higher than level 39 and during the night or at night, it evolves into Aurora. So it's maybe got something to do with the night or maybe it's just a parallel between that and Tyrantrum. So base stat wise for Aurora, so if we take a quick look here, its highest base stat health points are 123. So with this big size and large weight, it, you know, bulk comes along with that. However, its other stats aren't as good. Its next highest is Special Attack at 99, so Aurorus is primarily a Special Attacker. You could run Physical Aurorus because its Physical Attack isn't terrible, but really, you're better off running Special. Uh, and then going down there, we have Special Defense at 92, and then after that, we have obviously Attack, and then Defense at 72, and then finally Speed at 58. So Aurorus is a really slow Pokemon, and as you can tell by its Physical Defense, is really quite fragile as well. And as we look at the typing in a minute, you'll see why. Ability wise, for Aurorus, there are two available. Both of these are available. First one is Refrigerate, which turns normal type moves into ice type moves. So you could hit them with an ice type Hyper Beam, an ice type Explosion, ice type Self Destruct. Not that Aurorus learns Self Destruct, but you guys get the idea. Its hidden ability is Snow Warning, which you know starts hail when you enter the battle. So both of them have their benefits. Obviously, with Refrigerate, you can have some sort of more powerful stabs because, as well as normal type moves becoming ice type moves, they do get a bit of a power upgrade as well. So, that is one reason to run a Refrigerate. And then, obviously, Snow Warning, you get the bonus you know, the fact that you don't take damage from the Hailstorm, whereas the enemy most likely will, unless they're also an ice type. So, that's your basic information about Aurora. As I mentioned, let's look at the typing, and it's not good news, guys. It really isn't good news. It resists four types, which are normal, flying, poison, and ice. Generally, not very common types. Normal doesn't have any sort of strengths, so people don't usually don't use it as much as other moves. Flying, similar, really, doesn't really have doesn't have too many strengths. And then poison and ice are just you know not too commonly used. Whereas it has six weaknesses, which are grass, water, fighting, rock, ground, and steel. Most of those are fairly common types, I guess. The grass, water, definitely, and then you know, rock and ground, yep, certainly. And then if we look at how effective they are, grass, water, you're weak to two times. Fighting, you're weak to four times. Add on the fact you have a really low physical defense, and most fighting types are physical attackers. If you're presented with a fighting type, it's not a good day for you at all. Then rock, you are weak to uh, two times, ground two times, and then steel four times once more. Steel again being a primarily physical type, so really it's not looking good type-wise for Auroras. No immunities, 
and then it takes neutral from the rest of the moves, rest of the types. So it's not good typing. Yeah, you know, putting it simply, it's not good typing, especially when because we're a special attacker. There's not too many special attacking rock type moves, to put it simply. You know, there's not. There are a few, but there's not that many. There's no good ones. So, yeah, that's one of your stabs you sort of lose out on. Then ice types, yeah, there are loads of special type attacking moves for ice types, but really you're not getting the same type of benefit as you would from another type. But that's what we're given with there, so you just have to deal and work around with Aurora's flimsy typing and defenses, basically. What moves might you use to sort of work around that? Well, let's have a look now. First up, we have a level 46 that can learn Encore. Why would you want to learn Encore? Well, you could use Aurora's as a lead, possibly, and then let's say the enemy is a stealth rocker, so they use stealth rock on the first time, thinking, ha, this Aurora's ain't got shit on me. So they use stealth rock, and then if you go for Encore first turn, you're probably slower, so they'll use stealth rock. You can Encore them into stealth rock, and then they're stuck there, either having to stay in and just go through that, or switch out. Which obviously means they're not doing any damage to you. Of course, you could Encore them into an attacking move, which is just really reading the situation there. But that's sort of the, the situation you might want to use Encore in. You get them stuck in a move that's not going to do any damage to you, and then you can just sort of do what you want for the next turn while, they while they're forced to you know, change what they were doing. So... Yeah, that's that. Then we have uh, level 74, we, or TM14, we have Blizzard, a very powerful ice type move. If you're having uh, Snow Warning as your ability, it's definitely going to dare to run Blizzard because you have 100% accuracy on that move in the hail. So it's definitely a good idea to run it if you're running that ability because it's very powerful, one of the most powerful ice type moves. So there's really no reason not to run it. Then, at even higher level, level 77, Aurora's can learn Freeze Dry, a new move for Generation 6, which is an ice type move, but is also super effective against water types. So, it's a bit more of a bonus to it. It's not as powerful as Blizzard, but it does have the extra type advantage. So, you could either, you know, even if you're using Snow Warning, you could also run it as an alternative, or you could run it on a refrigerate set, or you could just have it on whatever set you want, sort of as a backup. You know, in case the water type comes through, you could use freeze dry and try to surprise them. I mean, it's not too much of a surprise on an Aurorus, but it would be a good surprise if they send the, you know, send the water type in, thinking, "Ha, I'm just going to hydro pump this guy, and then they're going to be gone," because you know you might have that up your sleeve, for example. Moving on to some TMs, we have one TM here, which is TM79, Frost Breath, which is a nice time move, less damage than Blizzard and Freeze Dry, I think, but it always critical hits, which is good to have because if you guys aren't aware, critical hits actually ignore any defense bonuses. So say the enemy is calm minded five times, as uh, so they have the highest special defense they could have, you can switch your Aurora's in, use Frost Breath, that completely ignores the defense boosts, and then they're down to a bit more, you know, they're exactly where they were in the first place. So it is a good idea to maybe think about running it, just to sort of to have up your sleeve in those situations, really. But generally, Blizzard, if you know, run Blizzard if you're using Snow Warning, and then Freeze Dry can be there as an alternative, if, you know, coverage against water types. Frost Breath is there for coverage against anything that's going to set up you specially. Then we're on to some tutor moves. The first one here, here is Earth Power, special move, it's ground type. Why would you want to run this? Well, looking at your weaknesses, you are weak to rock and steel. So those, those two moves there, or two types, are covered by Earth Power. So it's a good idea to think about running it at least if you're not going to sort of stay there. You know, just think about it. Then next up we have Hyper Voice. This is working in tandem with Refrigerate, which is going to turn it into a ice type move and give it a bit of a boost as well. So your two options really, if you're running a Snow Warning set, use Blizzard. If you're running an, a Refrigerate set, use Hyper Voice. And then you could think about using Freeze, freeze Dry or Frost Breath as well, because obviously we haven't got amazing coverage on Aurora, so it's not like, yeah, you know, you've got loads of moves to choose from, because you just don't. It doesn't get any special rock type moves, I don't think, so really that stab there is completely lost. Um, so you've got enough root basically to use two ice type moves. The last move we have here is another choose move, and this is Stealth Rock. Uh, so this is sort of, if you want to use Aurora in slightly a defensive way, or at least just a lead, to get your Stealth Rock set up, and then, well, we, you know, as when, when we look at that set, I'll talk about them, but you guys get the idea there, Stealth Rock is always good to have on a Pokemon on your team. As I mentioned, let's look at these competitive sets now, since those are all the moves we were going to cover. So, the first one is going to be basically an all-out attacking set. 
because our defences aren't amazing, we're not running here for a full defensive set ever with Aurorus because someone could just come in with a fighting type move and that would be your game over, or Aurorus' life over at least. So really the full defensive sets aren't good on Aurorus, whereas going full offensive with a bit of bulk as well to back you up is, is pretty good. So the first set we're going to have, move wise we're going to have Hyper Voice or Blizzard, Earth Power, Freeze Dry and Frost Breath. Ability is Refrigerate or Snow Warning. Nature is a modest one, and the Hell Death is going to be a choice of specs. EVI is going to have maximum special attack EVs, maximum speed EVs, and the rest just in defense. So, move set straight up. Hyper Voice or Blizzard depends on your ability you're using. If you're going to use Refrigerate, use Hyper Voice. If you're going to use Snow Warning, use Blizzard. Simple as that. Earth Power is the next one for coverage against his Rock and Steel types, and then finally have Freeze Dry or Frost Breath. Really, generally, you only would run one of those, and you'd put another move in the last slot, like Stealth Rock or Encore. However, in, you're using your choice specs, so you have to. Freeze Dry is good for your coverage against water types, and then Frost Breath is good for those crits against anything that has bulk type as special defense, so that is as simple as that. Ability is up to you, really, what you want to use here. Refrigerate gives you a bit more power of Hyper Voice, however, the Snow Warning does give you sort of the ability to last the enemy out a bit more if they're not a nice type because they're going to be taking more damage than you, and just goes on like that. Nature is a modest because we just want to do as much damage as possible here. We're not worried too much about our defenses at all, so we just want to do all the damage we can, and that'll be that. Held items are choice specs simply because it, it's going to power up your moves. You could run a life orb, however, you're then going to take more damage as well, and since you're not, you know, the best defensive Pokemon in the world, you aren't going to last too long. So really, choice specs, it's just in case you go in and use a powerful move. Obviously, you're not going to send Auroros in against the Pokemon it's going to have strengths against, and if one comes out, you're not going to stay and think, oh yeah, I'm just going to throw Blitzers at them. It's not going to, it's only going to do like 10 damage, but I'm still going to do it. You would switch in and out as you needed to. You're not going to stay out there with a bad sort of weakness. Um, so really, it's a case of going in. Oh look, they're you know they're weak to, or they're going to take neutral from a blizzard. So it's just blizzard, blizzard, you know, spam blizzard. It's going to do a lot of damage for you. So that's sort of the idea there. It's basically any basic choice set there, guys. Just go in, use moves. We have maximum special attack EVs for damage. Maximum speed EVs doesn't seem like a good idea because of the fact that you have very low speed. But in the, in the um, tier it's in, there are other slow Pokemon. So having the max speed does allow you to outspeed them at some point. And obviously, since it's a full attacking set, you just want to get, sort of get the damage off as much as you can. And the rest in defense, just because why not? Just bolt the defense up a bit more. Um, so maybe you can survive a single attack. Who knows? But yeah, that's pretty much that for that set. Same as any choice set. Go in, use moves, and if it's a bad position, just switch out. So the next set for Aurora. So this is more of a a lead stealth rock set. There's only I can't remember really my finger on what it's for, but. Move set we have Stealth Rock, Blizzard, Earth Power, and then Freeze Dry or Encore, or alternatively Frost Breath as well if you wanted. Ability is Snow Warning this time, Nature is Modest, Held Atom is a Focus Sash, and then we have Eevee's Maximum Special Attack, Maximum Speed, and the rest in Special Defense. You could put Physical Defense as well, but I'll talk more about that in a second. So the moves. First up is Stealth Rock. This is sort of just your utility of the set, you know, it's not just a case of going and do damage anymore, you have this option to set some stealth rocks up and help you. Blizzard is then your main attacking move, and combined with your ability of snow warning, it's going to have 100% accuracy. The reason we have snow warning over refrigerate is because in these sort of lo maybe long drawn out battles against leads, the snow warning is going to help you because the hail is going to do damage to them, it's going to give you a bit more of an advantage, um, and it's just going to do a bit more damage anyway. Uh, whereas refrigerate, yeah, it's going to give you a bit more damage on your Hyper Voice rather than Blizzard, but we're not just going for the full damage this time. Earth Power is our third move, just for coverage against Rock and Steel types once more. And then finally we have Freeze Dry or Encore. It's up to you which one you'll use here. You can use Encore, as I mentioned earlier, to try and lock them into a Stealth Rock or a Sticky Web or whatever they're trying to use. Um, and sort of, you know, give yourself more time like that. Or you can go for a Freeze Dry, just to give you that bit more coverage against Water types. It's really up to you. You either have the coverage against water types or have a bit more utility in terms of allowing yourself more time on the field. Ability we mentioned, nature again is modest because we're just going to get, you know, there's, there's no point in going a timid because our, our speed is so low anyway, it's really not going to have much difference. We may as well just uh, go for the, all that damage we can basically. How do I miss time is a focus sash. This is just so we can get one stealth rock off definitely. Um, and in terms of the fact that you won't be facing against other 
leads, so they might either switch out to an attacker, or they might stay in. In terms of what would be better, I don't know, like, focus action is just there. Generally, just so you can get one attack off, that's basically the reason it's there. You can just get an attack off and that's that. That's the reason you, you use it, you know. Uh, same with some leads as well, you just in case of getting this thing set up, and then it's there in case you get you know, attacked on the first turn. EV is very similar again, maximum special attack on speed, just for all the power and a bit more speed. And the rest in the special defense this time, because we want Focus Sash to actually to work, I guess. Um, we don't want to bulk, bulk up our physical defense just enough that we get down to like 10 health points rather than 1, and then the Focus Sash is a complete waste. Um, you just want the funness, you know, add, add that, you know, there's really no point, we're looking to go down in one turn, really, or, you know, go down to one health point in one turn, we're not looking to say, oh yeah, we're going to get bulky, no, we're just going to take the damage and take it like a man, or a woman, whichever one. But that, that's really how you use that set, just sort of go in, stealth rock, if you survive, maybe give another move, if they've not done the damage to you, you could try encoring them, or just try it out, test it out, and see how it goes in the tier. And of course you could use it in OU or whatever, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't give you high chances there. But guys, that's going to be it for this week's episode of the Pokemon Data Decks with me. Next week, we'll be covering one of the dog trio. Which one do you want to see? Raikou, Entei, or Suicune? Let me know down below in a comment. But for now, this is going to be it for me for today. I shall be seeing you next time. I thank you for watching. And goodbye, my friends.